All right, for question 5.5, we have which of the following histograms could be the result of this circuit when we run on the Casson simulator? And we're giving two Hallamar gates, two Sino gates, and then measurements on all three qubits. And then we're, we're given a few options here um, to select from. Now, I don't know if you recall this, but we have already analyzed this circuit in uh, question 1.3, and, and we derived the... Um, the state vector. So I already have it here, and we have an equal superposition of uh, state uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 1, 1, 1. So if we now perform measurements on the circuit by running on, on a simulator, what we're going to get is, you know, with probability, um, uh, sorry, the probability of measuring state 0, 0, 0, for example, was the norm squared of its probability amplitude, which is one over four. So uh, we're gonna get the same thing for, for all four states. And if we're, we're running this uh, by performing uh, measurements over a large number of shots, then uh, the, the counts that are gonna give us a probability should um, be approximately equal to, to one over four. So let's go ahead and, and implement this in Qiskit. So first, let's uh, define our circuit down here. So let's do, um, as usual, we're going to uh, import so from Qiskit, import quantum circuit, execute, and the air simulator. And then from Qiskit visualization, import plot histogram okay then we're going to define our circuit so quantum circuit equal to qc equal to quantum circuit and now we have three qubits right uh, where we have Hadamard gates on qubit zero and qubit one uh, cx gate between qubits uh, zero and one and another cx gate between qubits zero and two and then we're going to perform measurements um between um sorry i forgot here that we have three classical registers as well and we're going to measure qubits zero one and two and we're going to associate those with classical registers zero one and two okay and let's go ahead and now draw the circuit and if we want to you know get the the same um the same as what we have here we can add that barrier that we had at uh, in between the um, in between the circuit and the measurement blocks so barrier here okay here we go yes here's our circuit and now as before we're going to um, define our simulator so we're asked to run this using the chasm simulator which it's um, now referred as one of the legacy simulators. So I don't know exactly what that means. I don't know if it's going to be deprecated at some point, but uh, let's go ahead and use it. It's still available. So let's define Q simulator, Q for, for Catham simulator, um, you know, equal to air.get backend. And here we pass Catham simulator. And um, as before, we define a job, which we can do um, with the execute command by passing our circuit and backend uh, Q simulator. All right, and then um, we get our results, right? So result equal to job dot results. And finally, we get our counts by doing result dot get counts. Um, and we can plot that, plot histogram counts. I forgot here and then, here we go. And uh, I always use results instead of result. Um, and count instead of count, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> here we go. So here we have, uh, as, as we had derived, uh, almost a probability of, of one over four for states zero 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 one zero one zero one and one 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 
which means that the answer is option three. Um, all the other ones are uh, similar, but but they're for for states that are not, uh, or or for um, measured bits that are not the ones in in the state we defined with this circuit. Now, so I was saying this CASM simulator is is referred as a legacy simulator. I believe that now the the right way to do is is by using the air simulator. Uh, so so it's the same it, it's the same uh, syntax. Um, just instead of, of CASM simulator here, we, we just define here air simulator. And uh, let's just call it simulator here instead of Q simulator. And if we run that again, we see that, that we get the same result. Um, or, or instead of using this ex execute command, as we saw in a previous video, we can just do simulator that run and then pass our quantum circuit. And then again, we get a similar result, right? Um, so so yeah i don't know I, I believe this this is going to be the the new way of running um a simulation that emulates uh what a qpu or, or a real hardware is supposed to do uh instead of using the chasm simulator